Hello, Paul Ellis from the Rick Group. Going to give you a webinar on our SBO for PDA, which is a warehouse management solution for SAP Business One. And today the webinar is going to be about automated invoicing with Power BI. So the Rick Group started in 2001. We now have customers worldwide in Australia, New Zealand, North America, Asia and Africa. Our warehouse management solution is certified with SAP Business One and it supports SQL and HANA. Power BI is used for KPIs and picker statistics and we set system parameters that allows our SBO for PDA to have different features. We do have a support contact point set up in San Francisco for our North American partners. Here are the contact details. You can reach us at sales at the RIC Group, our website or our YouTube. And feel free to email us with any questions you may have. So let's get into it. I've got SAP Business One open and what I want to do is create a sales order. Creating a sales order, I'll choose my delivery date and I'll select a couple of items. Now once I select a couple of items I can click on add and we can see here sales order 1505 has been created. Now I'm going to right click and say generate pick list. 1142 pick list has been created. So let's go to the PDA unit. So in the main menu I can go into sales, I can go into pick and once I got into pick it's automatically picked up the pick ID 1142 is available sales order 1505. I can click on start. Now once I'm here it's going to go and retrieve the lines from the pick list. So I've got two lines we can see that it's been arranged in bin location order. I can see my release quantity and pick quantity. I can click on the item if I needed to I can scan the bin location and it will automatically select the bin location that I've scanned or I can go and look for different bin locations but today I'm just going to click on one and say done. Second item, quantity pack, one and done. I've now fulfilled my order, release quantity is two, pick quantity is two. We can see here the pick quantity and release quantity match. I'm going to complete. And we've got it set up where you can do a pick and pack. You could have different PDAs doing the pick and pack process. The pack process is normally involved when we've got EDI, and we've also got the need to close box and print labels and we might have freight integration as well. So once we've selected the pack option we can go in and say quantity pack and say one. Now once I've completed that I'm then going to say close box and it's going to print the label. Second item of quantity pack and then can say Close box. So what I've done is printed two labels for the two items I've got. I've got two items, I've packed two items, I've picked two items and then I can complete. So normally what would happen here is we can do freight integration if that's turned on, if that's a sysparam that we've turned on for you and you can have multiple um, freight integration with FedEx, UPS, Australia Post, Star Trek, Toll, there are a number of integrations that we've got. However, what we've done here is when we go back into SAP, normally the delivery document has been created and from there the packaging slip. We've taken it one step further now where we've automated it to also invoice. So we've created the AR invoice. So what we'll do is just refresh. And because we're doing a lot with the SDK here, it can take a second. But you can see 1505 status is closed. When I right click and go to the relationship map, you can see here we've got the delivery document and the AR invoice that's been created. Firstly, let's go into the delivery document. When I go into the delivery document, I can go into the packaging slip. And we can see here that the two labels have been printed, the weight has come, come across, and for each box is the different item. So the delivery document's been created. The packaging slip has been fulfilled and now we can double click and the AR invoice has also been created. So we've created a complete automation 
using the PDAs for pick pack and once we've completed it goes and creates the delivery document and AR invoice in SAP Business One. It will work with SQL and HANA as well. So the second part to this I want to show you that we have started to use Power BI to introduce KPIs and pick a statistics for all our customers using SAP Business One. And the second part of this is it's live, it's accessing the database straight away, there is no delay, and we can start building into things like questions and we'll get responses. So you can see here we've got a Q&A within Power BI and we can start pulling back the stats that we need live straight away. From here we've got dashboards that we've created as well and we send this out to all our customers. You can start tracking scans per minute, the right scans versus the wrong scans. You can start scanning, um, tracking who's doing the most picks, who's doing the most lines per pick as well in the warehouse. And you can have that up wherever you need to be because this is just simply using Power BI for those statistics. So if you've got any questions, email us at sales at the Rick Group. Feel free to give us a call. Visit our website and all the videos we do and all the webinars are always posted immediately up on our YouTube channel, The Rick Group. Appreciate your time and thank you for listening.